Also at 5, a woman is unlikely to survive after her vehicle was struck by a SEPTA train in Delaware County. The collision happened at the Media Elwyn line on the Lansdowne Upper Darby line this morning. Our Joe Holden has been at the scene all day. He joins us now with the very latest. Joe? And the point of impact was right down there, the intersection that crosses these railroad tracks. And then the train pushed that car some 500 feet all the way down the tracks. They actually ended up right in this area. After an inspection of the tracks, they're okay. Service was restored around noon today. But as you mentioned, the tragic outcome, the driver police say likely to die. The SEPTA crossing at Union Avenue, a street dividing Upper Darby and Lansdowne, can back up while people wait for train traffic. But investigators say impatient drivers on Monday morning took matters into their own hands. It was just a shocking moment. All you just heard boom. That real loud boom was the sound of impact when a SEPTA train torpedoed into this SUV, pushing it nose first down the tracks of the Media Elwyn rail line some 500 feet. The gates and flashers were working appropriately. Uh, for whatever reason, the drivers decided to take that chance and drive around the gates. You're only asking for trouble if you do that. There were 300 people on board the train. Miranda Rouse from Clifton Heights was one of them. I was on the train and then all of a sudden we just felt like a bump in the road. And I had my headphones and I was reading and then all of a sudden all everybody came up and was like, just remain calm and sit down. And then they told us what happened and then we all were just like sitting there in shock. All of the train's passengers left without as much as a scratch. But railway safety experts say what happened could have been catastrophic. The engineer that's on board that train and the 300 passengers were all at risk of seriously getting hurt if it had gone a little differently. We have seen in the industry if cars are struck by trains that it's not uncommon that they could derail the train. And even with those flashing lights and rail gates closed, blocking traffic from crossing, we are told that in addition to that, these trains also signal with three blows of the horn. Clearly today, those SEPTA re-examining things and also planning an aggressive push to make sure people know the perils of crossing at some of these roadways. I'm back at six with that part of the story. We're live in Upper Darby. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you. We'll see you then.